I'm not sure if our blog post had something to do with it, but we heard this week that there is now a proposal uh, on the table in the trial of discussions uh, where the obligation is under discussion, under review, and that there might that it might be uh, changed. We heard now that they are looking at a mechanism that focuses more on demonstrating that measures to respect law and ethics are in place and documenting all these steps. So now we would switch to a mechanism where the focus is not necessarily on identifying the content and identifying copyright protected works, but more on the manner in which copyright matters are just being handled. And we believe that such a system would make much more sense. Um, this way of working uh, at ML6 is also something that we are already thinking about and that we are implementing in our projects. For example, when we need in a certain project where we need to gather training data from external sources, which can sometimes be the case. Uh, we always respect the current provisions of the copyright directive. So this means that in the first step, we check if we can acquire a license or not to use a certain work, uh, whether it's a Creative Commons license or not. And secondly, if the license does not seem available, uh, yeah, we always check whether we can rely upon the text and data mining exception or not. Then we check one, if we can have lawful access to the source, and two, if the rights are not reserved by the right holders. And if we, can acquire a, if we can't acquire a license, if we can't have lawful access, and if the rights are reserved, then we do not use the content concerned. So this is our policy. And for each project, we, we try to document this as well. So this is sort of mechanism that the uh, that we understand that the AI Act wants to implement or that is being discussed right now. 